Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. I am happy to say I am joined by Katie Carter from the 1878s today to uh, give us an update on everything going on in the pursuit of an amazing atmosphere at Goodison Park, Katie. But what's going on? <sighs> what isn't going on? <laughs> what isn't going on? Um, yeah, it's non-stop, really. Is it, um, has it become like a, a job for you, this? It's a second job for me. See, I... I before we go any further, I genuinely believe Everton should employ you. As as no, generally Didn't. because what we no. saw when we when we went over to Germany was people like you work for the football clubs, like doing what you do, and I think they should employ you. Sixty k a year to take it, like well, I mean, <laughs> no, don't be taking a pay cut. <laughs> don't be taking a pay cut to move to Everton, but in other countries they do because the job you do is massively important. I was. Discussing the other day with a few people about the atmosphere of of the ground and and uh, you know it's you can't quantify what an atmosphere does for the team on the pitch and does for other fans you know especially you know when you go to the game and it can be seeing it good and it can be hard to maybe get them going and it's seeing the R twelve kickoff and stuff but having the flags and having people there who've organised stuff and it's gone out their own time it's hugely important and for that reason I think certainly a couple of years should work with the club. Oh, I don't know. It, I don't think it's one of them where you could go and work for the club. Like, but you know, there is a, there's a, you know, the group do work hard. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie about that. We all now all pull our weight. Um, we have cracked a few whips in the past <laughs> couple of weeks. Um, everybody's got a job. We all know what we're doing. We've all got certain roles. What we we do with inside. So. You know, it is, it's a full-time job as well as, you know, full-time job. And then, you know, also got a life as well. So you've got your life. Some of the group have got kids, you know. Mm. Some of our jobs take us away from home, depends on stuff like that. So, listen, it's it's one of them. But no one's made us do this. Mm. We've chose to do this ourselves, you know. We don't get paid for it. We do it in our free time. And it's one of them, you know. You put in the hard work to do it, and then when you see the results, what you see when you look at a mm. display and it looks unbelievable, that's why it's worthy doing, putting the time in. That's not to say it's not frustrating at times. Not to say, you know, you think, oh, God, have I got to get this done? And you've got to. You mm. Listen, if you want things to look really good, yeah. it's not as just simple as walking into a ground and holding a flag. There's so much work what goes mm. into it, so... It's worth it in the end. Yeah, they look and it's looked fantastic. What you know, have you have you faced any big challenges this season? Because obviously you've moved the the flags. Not only, you've had them in the Gladys Street, you've had them in the Bullings, you've had them in the Park End. Um, you know, has that been any different for you having to move them around, or was it been easier because the Park End's a little bit more straightforward? Maybe. Do you know what the Park End's the best one to do? Yeah, but you know, we we figured that out the other week. Um, the others are tight, the, the ground's old, it's oh, yeah. tight, it's compact. The paddock especially, it's just got like a little run at the back, like yeah. a little alleyway in between like the low bones and the paddock. So that was quite tight the other week, but listen, it doesn't matter. It's it's going to be that way, isn't it? It's like 100 and, near 140 years old, mm. the ground, so you're going to expect things like this. But the park end was easy mm. to get around. Mm. Glad the street's really tight. Yeah. Um, it looks like you've got like a bit of a concourse at the front, but you don't in no. the Gladys because of the cameras. Yeah. So that is quite tough mingling in and out of the seats and stuff. Mm. But um, the park, I think the park end looked better as well. That I think that was the best display we've done because it's a lot steeper. So it's not as wide as the Gladys mm. Street either, and it is quite steep yeah. compared to the Gladys Street. So that was the. That was a, our favourite one. So well, it, you, if you want to keep them there, as someone who, as someone who obviously sits in the Gladys Street, it's like, um, it's, it's like, it's like being living in Liverpool. You don't get to, you don't get to see the waterfront. <laughs> You've got to be in the the wheel uh, yeah. to get the full picture. So I'm, I'm, I have it all in front of me. Not that I, not that I mind too much, but, yeah. but it, it did look great when it was at the park end. And obviously, as you said, logistically, it's probably a lot easier. And you see people going in the day before, but and if it means it's less time consuming, is that something that's going to continue moving it round the ground? Yeah, um, the reason we moved it into the paddock as well is and and like the upper bones. It's the most iconic stand to look at at Goodison. Mm. It's got Archibald Leach right yeah, away across yeah. it. Why wouldn't you dress it up mm. as such? Um, given that we don't have many options, you know, yeah. um, um, like not many more options left to do it. So, 
yeah, moving it round the ground. I think the hardest one's going to be the top balcony because you can't really see much and you can't drape anything oh, over yeah. the top balcony. It's got like a, a mesh netting. Um, but we are looking at the family enclosure for one, um, the main stand as a part. But, um, you know, you're going to have to get the corporate to join in with them once. You know, you can't have a big <laughs> blank space. Make them. But to be fair, the park ends when we've done it and the captain's table, they were great. Yeah. They all have flags on seats. They actually had two two poles in there and they helped. They We put them on the seats and they held them up. Mm. So there was no pushback to it and there's been no complaints yeah. about it. But why not to roll over the ground? And, and the aim is at the end, you know, towards the end of the season is... You know, we we want to do both ends of the ground, Park mm. Ends and Gladys Street. But the thing is, you know, you need money to do that, unfortunately. Funding, yeah. And right now, we don't have that. So that's something that we need to push massively for. So is that something you're looking for now, uh, people to come in um, to, to to help with that? Because it isn't cheap. And one of the things I was I was told I had to ask, well, not ask about, tell was people have been taking flags on and it's 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 not on, is it? It's not on at all for some fella to stick them in his bedroom next to his Super <laughs> Nintendo because he's still clinging on to that as well. And and it when these these things cost a lot of money, yeah. you know, they should be they should be you know taken out put back in, um, all supervised, and to see people take them. I mean, I don't know what the stewards are doing. What are you doing? Stop letting people take the flags out. To but... be fair, the, the stewards have been great, to be honest. it's The thing is, they're not going to get in the back lardy over the flag. They do tell people, mm. and the stewards have been, been great with doing that, but I think we had 800 of them, and I think it cost like 2,000 or 2,200, mm. 500 of them. It's an awful lot of money yeah, yeah. for such. And the reason we had to get another 300 is because the others got tough. Yeah. I think we're left with about 250, 300 mm. at a push. That's at a max. So yeah. we do need more mm. as well. But it's finding the money to do that. Mm. You know, but what would you rather? More two poles, more big waivers, or more little flags on seats? But them flags on seats kind of have a big impact yeah. because it fills the gaps. Yeah. It, they, they are effective, yeah, yeah. but they just cost an awful lot of money. So mm. if anyone's got a spare two grand down the couch, maybe this one. <laughs> it's just been cleaned. I would have found yeah. it. Definitely, that's why they clean it. Um, I, I believe we're sponsoring the Brentford game. You so know, yeah. Apparently. John, you know, John yeah. Blaine, he's way, yeah, way John got in touch with me, um, which is brilliant. Great from you. Um, that's allowed us to buy quite a few um, two poles, to be honest. In the company we deal with, they're fantastic. So they've done us like a bit of a discount because we buy in bulk. Mm. So we've been able to get a few more flags. So thanks very much. We appreciate that. It does go a long way. Um, we've had a few more sponsors. So I think this season we've had up to now the Lachup Bar, um, the new bar in town. Oh, yeah. um, they sponsored a game we've had view from the bullen sponsor the game and um, yourselves we've actually got um craig prince um is brickware company a uh, sponsored in the chelsea game we've also got the shareholders association they're sponsoring another game we've got the denby pub atalanta blues and we've i don't know if you've seen it the other week but Food banks are sponsoring the game, but they don't donate. Yeah. We donate to them. To, brilliant. And the Merseyside Derby is the one that we're doing it for. Oh, so we're giving, for as much as we're giving it a huge push for donations to us for that one particular yeah. game, we're going to push massively for people to donate to them. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so how would, how would people get, uh, get in touch with you to sponsor you then for those particular games that are remaining? Because obviously, and to get them all flags. Yeah, so we've got um, our website, 1878.co.uk. Um, there's a link on there. Um, you can either have a one-off donation or you've got the option to donate monthly. We have a few people who do that now, which is really good. Constant money coming in. So um, they're the options. That's how you can donate to us, um, even if it's a pound. Mm. You know, we're so grateful for it. It can go towards everything, but... You know, we need as much money as we possibly can. It is really tough. And it's one of them. Do you do a display every single mm. game? 
if they're just going to look the same, what's the point? So to make them look bigger and better, you need more funds oh, yeah. to make them look yeah. bigger. We'll put better, the link so. in the description as well, so everybody knows where to go. And is that the challenge at the moment? Just making it a little bit different because I know you've got um, you've got a new designer, haven't you? Doing the flags as well. Uh, yeah, we've got Mike yeah. um, Everton the gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, we still design some ourselves, but he's doing the majority of them, which is good. We come up with the ideas. Have you got any like themes you're place. looking for for like because it's the last obviously last season of Goodison Park? Is there any themes you're going to start going for for maybe one-off games? Because obviously as we look as we we're starting to head towards the end and as you know once we get past Christmas and we turn that corner, you know I think I think it's going to get slightly. I don't think for me it hasn't been like emotional yet, and I think this is something the club. Have I maybe, feel like it doesn't feel real at the no, moment. No, no, that's what I mean. It's but for the club, I think this is where they've made little mistakes in in for some of the things they've been pushing. I don't think it feels real at the moment. I think we're just going the game. We've got enough pressures watching our team and hoping to pick up results. That for me, it's not there yet. I think once we get to, we're into the single figures. Yeah. I think that's when it starts. This, you know, and I know other teams go, oh, this is the last time we're visiting. But for us as fans, we for us, we've still got loads of games left. It feels like. So is there is there any, um, any in particular you're going to start honing in? And is there anything, like say for the Mayside Derby, have you got anything planned that is, uh, without giving anything away, is there anything planned for that or any other game where you think we're going to go for a theme for this one? We've got something planned for the Derby, yeah. Um, it's just one particular flag with okay. certain wording on. Okay. Um, that is quite a theme from the past, the present and the future without giving too much away so um, that is that but I know the club are doing a retro day and we're going to work with them alongside that so mm. um, if you've noticed at the moment we've got a lot of old flags so we've got a lot of old badges a lot yeah, of old yeah. players um, even we're in the process of doing current players because you know it's okay to an old player, yeah, but yeah. the ones that are currently wearing the blue shirt are good yeah, yeah. you need to support them. We've got, you know, your old ones, your Baines and stuff like that. So they're all in the process of being designed, flags like that. You know, paying tribute to the mm. ones who you've watched at Goodison, not just us, our era, but previous and also like the new generation now come through. So mm. we've got all that stuff. But I think the retro day will be really good because you've got, We've now got the little woods clock, yeah. little small things that yeah, yeah. you'll start to notice that start creeping in, and that'll be huge on the retro day. I, I really hope that retro day is like in the spring. It's going to be, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's one thing I have noticed, and I've done it myself a lot, you're noticing more and more people wearing old shirts at the game, which I I, I love. Um, I was gonna, if, you, if we're going to have a retro day, make sure it's a day you can wear day. our shirts. Yeah. Because um, it, it does make a big difference. Otherwise, it'll just be big retro coats. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but that's good. I'm glad and they're doing that. And the Never South one, we've got a name. So we done a poll a few months ago, and we asked people to name their yeah. favourite player. Neville Southall won it, so, which I was glad about because yeah. he's my favourite player. So um, we've actually got a TIFO it's, that's in the middle of being designed. Um, we're not going to actually put that design out. No, just... He designed brilliant David, um, David Cross, who works for Everton. He's designed it. It is fantastic. Like, fantastic. So that will be getting done in the spring mm. also. Um, you know, he's our most illustrious player. Yeah, yeah. He's our most player who's won our, like, yeah. the most appearances. He's probably the greatest ever, ever no, player he in terms is. of trophies won. So we need to make sure that, you know, mm. we pay tribute to, to him given it's our last yeah. season. So they're just a couple of plans what we've got in place. It doesn't anyway. that must make a big difference as well, working hand in hand with the club because like you just said, they even just like access to Someone who can design. I know. You, I know you've got someone who's really, really good, and and but just someone who can. Who can because sometimes with the images and stuff, you mightn't even have access to that image. Um, yeah. It must. That must be really good. And I, I think you know the club have done. They've done. I think they've done well on this in terms of working with you because like. Let's be honest, there's plenty of times, you know, it's been sort of up and down relationship. Yeah. But one thing I say about, you know, you, Katie, and other people involved is you've been involved in a lot of stuff. <laughs> like whether it's whether the club. Against the club. No, exactly. <laughs> no, we might as well be that yeah. open about it. It's like I've said yeah. it all this time. The same people who've done the, the, the same people who were in the 1878 are the same people who've done the, the buses, but also the same people who've done the marches against the board. Yeah. It's the same people over and over again who get up and, 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 and do this stuff and organise it. So it is good that the club are working with you and are 
are giving you access to those people and then have the access to the ground the day before or whatever it is to get the flags yeah. in that. That's massively important that, that people, uh, you know, don't get in each other's way because you need that relationship, don't you? Yeah, the club have been great with us, to be honest. Obviously, you know, at times, you know, yourself over the years, yeah. my personal relationship with the club has been quite fragile given stuff I've been involved in. But you know what? Mine's daily. If you can't <laughs> put it aside and work towards having a better football club, mm. pushing for a better club and a better atmosphere, yeah. then what is the point? And the thing is, we've done that. So yeah. as a, you know as a group also you know there's people involved in the group it's not just me we all work hard yeah, yeah. So obviously you know like my girlfriend Gemma you know we were a part of them them marches and and Han was a part of them marches and stuff so listen you've got to put that aside if you can't split the two you've got to be yeah. able to split the two because mm. you can push for a better club which we've done and then you know you can push for a better atmosphere but you know that's done yeah that, yeah that's done and, and we're away from that and we can move forward but the club are great with mm -hmm. us do you know what i mean they give us access to goodness and you know before and to set up mm -hmm. david works for them to be honest david's saved us grand to be to be truthful yeah yeah um we me and mo put our heads on on the chopping board to be honest um over the first tifo what we've done the 1878 with the tower in and we got quoted something like nine grand off a company for the park end. Mm. You're not doing that. Yeah. You're not paying that money. That's just ridiculous. So, but we could get the cards for like three grand and do it ourselves. Yeah. But we needed somebody to design it. Yeah. David said, I can do that. Right. And we were like, well, go on then. I won't tell the group. Just go ahead with it. <laughs> just do it. And if it went tits up, yeah. it was on my head. Yeah. You know what I mean? But luckily it didn't. And it, his design was great. So, and a super Kev one, hopefully, the ones he's he's as bad as me now. I sit there and design flags and he sits there and <laughs> designs TFOs and his so he's got the bug as well. But listen, it's all for the greater good at the end of the day and you know we best got our legs working enough to get up that outstands in in Brandon. Well I was I'll come on to that in a, I will come on to that in a minute. That'll be a killer. But uh, so obviously you know have you got plans for that last day of this season southampton is there anything in motion obviously don't give anything away but is that getting dis discussed now or is that something where the club are like no we're taking full ownership of that day no the club want to work with us on that and um, the club have, have said that you know do you want to meet with us over it and stuff we've already raised it already um so it's not something that is like oh let's do it a last minute thing mm -hmm. We've raised it in meetings with the club ourselves. So is that for the entire day? Because obviously, you take away the flags. Is that the entire day of what what you could not just what you can contribute, but as a fan group talking to the club? Is it what we want from the day or what you want from the day, rather than just being what happens before it? Because what happens after it is going to be, yeah, yeah what it's going to be the most important part of it, isn't it? You know, yeah. Those those. Those hours afterwards are going to be hugely important. The last ever, because nobody actually knows what no. what's going to happen. Is no one know knows how they're going to feel. No one knows. No one's going to go straight home. No, people no. are going to need to, you know, just let themselves calm down a little bit, and yeah. and that might mean sitting in that seat and just going, no, I'm not going anywhere. Tell those yeah. stewards and tell them to, to get honest, out. I think the club kind of know people aren't going to go straight out mm. the grounds and stuff. I think they're fully aware of that, you know. Yeah. I think it's common sense, isn't it? And let's be honest, it's not just us as fans that are going to be feel that emotion. Mm. It's going to be the the people who work for the club yeah, as well, yeah. especially ones who've been there for years. Mm. You know, it's their time to sit and reflect about, yeah, yeah. I'm never going to come back here again and watch Everton. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, in terms of plans for the whole, listen, the club will have their own plans mm. as well. But you know, there's plans that we can play a part of, and you know, we're happy to do that. We've got ideas ourselves mm. that we've already put to them. Um, and not speaking on behalf of, the, of a whole fan base, but you know, as a fan group, in terms of what we do, we've got our own ideas yeah. as such. But yeah, we've got some plans. In place <laughs> we'll see what good. happens. Yeah, and then obviously. Uh, moving on to the new stadium, is there, uh, you know, what? how are you looking to take that forward into that? Because like you just said there, you know, straight away, it's completely, it's a completely different set of rules, isn't it? You know, yeah. the, the stadiums are different, it's different, you know, you're going to, you just mentioned there about the main stand now at Goodison. 
I mean, when the cameras are on, when the people go, you, you'd ideally want to have stuff, wouldn't you, around yeah. the tunnel? But obviously, it's it, just the makeup of how that stand is. It's pretty straight, so it doesn't even give you that sort of angle to yeah. get nice flags in, vis in the visual. So straight away, you've got almost like a new blank canvas, and yeah. it'll make it a should make it a little bit easier, shouldn't it? Oh, it's a lot easier to be honest. <laughs> so they'll get up that time. To be honest, we can't wait. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, obviously getting up that tab stand's <laughs> going to be a, a bit of a job. Good job. I'm, I'm in the gym already prepping for it, to be honest. But listen, it is. We don't know how it's yeah. going to. We don't know because we haven't been in the ground yeah. yet. We haven't been in the in there. So we're hoping at some point in the new year to get in there yeah. because there's no point in there. You know, we need to know Speck what, out, yeah. what flags can we have in, in that area. And we don't know because you don't really see mm. it on on a video, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? But it's one of them where you're like, well, yeah, I can't wait to get my mitts on that because you know you're going to be able to dress it up and, yeah. and it makes... The park ends as a snippet mm -hmm. of what you can achieve. Yeah. But again, to be able to achieve what we visualise in our yeah. own heads and we need serious money for Bramley Moor. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the other side of it, won't it? It will swallow yeah. the flags yeah, up. Absolutely. It will literally be a corner. Yeah that they're going to be in, what yeah. we've got now. Mm. We're going to need quadruple yeah. that to fill it when you mm. think about it. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. It's going to be, and that's just one stand. That's not any of the others. Mm. You've got to think about these things. With, with obviously, it being not only, you know, uh, you know, new place to go, uh, fresh, fresh, uh, a chance to put all those flags out and I mean the, the South Stand uh, as a group are you have you looked at that or spoken about maybe that being the place where you all want to go because I mean we've talked about it a few times on the channel here and saying the South Stand because obviously none of us have got our season tickets yet and don't know where we're going to go I, you know there's been obviously singing sections in the Gladys seats and stuff that have been wedged in uh, into the corner because everyone's already got their seats are you uh, are you looking to maybe have an area in there where you're all, you want not all of you maybe but a section of you where you can start helping create the atmosphere you will always have responsibility for those flags rather than handing those responsibilities over to other fans that's something that you've uh, you know you've looked at or spoke to the club about yeah we don't want a singing section okay. um, we've opted not to have one we've opted not to even push for that yeah yeah you want it natural. Yeah. You don't want it forced. Don't get me wrong. You look at the likes of Celtic and the North Cave. It looks great. Mm. That's what they do. Mm. That's not what we do as a football club. It's not something... It would have been great at Goodison. It mm. didn't materialise, unfortunately. But naturally, yeah, that yeah. south stand should be that anyway. Yeah, the yeah. whole stand. You shouldn't need a specific block or a specific corner. It should naturally just generate mm. as you go in there anyway. I think the safe standing, you can't have it over 16s. Yeah. Is that right? So we've got people within the group, we've got kids who take mm. the kids the match. They can't stand in that section anyway. So okay. straight away you're restricted as a group because they need to sit further back simply because they've got kids with them. You've got to ask yourself this. You know, I'm 40 now. <laughs> in 25 years, yeah. do I want to be in that safe standing yeah, section? Yeah. Probably not, no. And these are little things what yeah, you do have course. to think about. But naturally, you know, we don't want to force an atmosphere in no. terms of let's all have a singing section and let's all go yeah. in here. You know, we're not going to do that. We're not mm. going to force that upon anybody and be like, we're here and we're taking that section. But I think naturally, I think... It, when the club puts something out, you know, you're going to have a family section, aren't you? So you, you've got a family section there. If you don't want to be a part of it, you don't have to be. You can sit somewhere else. Naturally, that's how it stands. It's going to be a, the atmosphere section. Yeah, you'd really. like to hope so. Well, that, you'd that, like to hope so. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you if you spoke to the club about about, about that, not, not for, again, I think it's important because it's important, I think, that... The 1878, as you go forward, I think as you as a group that represents, do you represent the fan base? You know, we've got the fans forum, all this kind of thing. Because anyone can join, can't they? Anyone can, can volunteer. Yeah, anyone can volunteer. And help. We've got a volunteer. To be honest, volunteers are what we need yeah. massively. So we're asking for people yeah. on our um, website, 1878.co.uk. 
um, we have a volunteering section mm. and for people to sign up. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are in the ground, you can volunteer. So if the display mm. is in the park end and you sit in the top balcony, yeah. you can still come and wave a flag. Yeah. There's ways and means about it. The club fixed that for us on yeah. the day. You would come in, you would show your ticket in a side door where we all have to meet. Then the club will take you back out and you go round to your stand once the game kicks off or yeah. once you've put your flag away. So there is ways and means mm. around these volunteers are something that we're so desperate for because yeah. you don't want to be scrambling around in the last day asking, you know, like, oh, I need two more people yeah, for the yeah. two polar. The more flags we get, the more volunteers mm. we need. So you are asking people a lot. You're asking people to sacrifice yeah. a couple of pints. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Change your match day routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite tough. We've done that, but we've we've chose to do that yeah. ourselves. Couldn't tell you the last time I've gone and, and had a you know like a pint with my mates. Yeah, yeah. Like me and Jem don't go for a pint with our mates before the game anymore because we have to be in like yeah. forty minutes before kick off, yeah. arranging stuff. So and the rest of the group, do you know what I mean? Mm. Not just me and Jem. So we do all adapt. You've got to go and ask another fifty people to do that with you. Yeah. Some people might not want to do that, yeah. and that's totally understandable. Mm -hmm. But if there is anybody out there that yeah. is happy to do that, please sign up. No, because I think that, I think that's really important because listen, there's a lot of times us doing this, people will go, "Oh, you don't speak for us and all this kind of thing," and I, I get all that. And, and no one's saying you you speak for anyone else. But if people do want to get involved, if people do want to see change and want to help the atmosphere, or or are looking to be on the south stand when the ground opens, what you know. And get involved because I think that for me, I for me, we've spoke about this loads of times on the channel. We'd love an, a situation where a group like yourselves actually had almost that was yours, all of it was yours like, literally, the whole of the South Stand was. Uh, I know people think again, well, anyone should be able to sit there, but there is a thing about creating an atmosphere, having the right people. You just said there. The Gladys Street is a weird mix of yeah. different ages because, of course, it was the the cheapest place to sit, and and people have grown up there, and and we all stand up, and it can be hard some days. Yeah. You don't, you just all you want to do is sit down. So it has to have the right mix of people in there, and I think that's where I'm sure the club will get that right. But I almost feel like there should be an extra responsibility on those people too. Well, you, you, they're almost like you are part of the 1878s now <laughs> that you've come on the South Stand. By being on the South Stand, you've signed your waiver. You are part of the 1878s now. Because I, I feel like it is all part of it. You see, you know, you look at like, you look at Dortmund and stuff and what they do. There is that thing of like, we are part of this. This is our main job. And I know football in this country has gone it's become very different but I think yeah. this does give us a real opportunity to to have that and be like well if you're going to be here you're part of this now you're I think the older generation in, in the glass it's, it's hard isn't it to change your seat to good us now because mm -hmm. you know there is so many season ticket holders yeah. there's not much room to like change and adapt so I understand why you know there's an older generation mm -hmm. still in that in in the I'm thinking when we move, you know, I'm not saying we want that stand, we don't want that stand, but naturally I think it's going to be that way. Yeah. Not our stand, yeah. but it's going to be an atmosphere stand. Yeah, yeah. You know, the majority is going to stand up. Mm. You're hoping, you know, they are going to sing and have yeah. something bloody to sing about for yeah. once. But I'm imagining the older generation, yeah. if I sat in the Gladys Street now, I wouldn't, and I'm, in my 60s, I'd be thinking, I don't really want to stand there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be in that. But some might. Yeah, yeah. And it, listen, at the end of the day, what we do isn't for everybody. Mm. And I know that it's probably for about 95%, probably 98%. Mm. We don't really get no backlash. Yeah. We don't really you get the odd tweet yeah. off the same people, type yeah. of accounts and stuff. But listen, you do have to respect it's not for everybody. Mm. But we're not here on behalf and speaking on behalf of a of a fan base. We're just doing what we felt would make things better. Yeah. And the reaction we've got, listen, this doesn't happen. If it's not for the fans, it doesn't mm -hmm. happen. They're the ones who donate in the first place. Yeah. They're the ones who volunteer and help. And if they don't get behind what we do, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. But luckily for us, they have and they do. And yeah. The the ones who get me, the older generation, they're the ones who get me because they're like, oh my god, yeah, this looks unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones who mm. you're like, God, if they're saying that the things they've seen, mm. and I think people forget, Goodison 
used to be like this in the 60s yeah. and 70s and 80s. It just stopped for 30 odd years. My dad came back, my dad's 72, and he came back because we stand up in the Gladys Street. People forget we did have banners then. Yeah. People were like, why have you got check banners? Why have you got yellow? Yeah. And we're like, we've got yellow in, in our badges. Mm -hmm. We've had yellow on our kits. Yeah. It's a part of everything. Yeah, yeah. If you just went blue and white, it'd look very much like Chelsea. Mm -hmm. I feel blue white and yellow is very unique to everton mm. because if you have a look i think about four of our badges have been yellow yeah. Unfortunately, one of our badges even had green on it it did in yeah. the 70s keep an eye out for that yeah and that one looks i like that I'm one as well would have become with that one on <laughs> um, it's already in the process but just little things and you're like what can be so unique to us yeah there is going to be a day um where we're just going to be predominantly blue and white and um, we've got a tifo design mm. Um, we're going to choose a game for the telly for that, probably mm -hmm. in January at some point. Um, and every single flag in the ground that we have will just be blue and white. There'll be no record at all on it. Um, and it's not for people to go, oh, where's the blue and white ones? Mm -hmm. It's because everything is blue and yeah, white. Yeah. Yet we do have a mix of yellow in, but mm -hmm. why not? It's the other one I like, ideas. and you have, I think you've done the banner for the last one, is... I think in the last couple of years, and this is not just because of the channel's name, but we've reclaimed the toffees. Like, not reclaimed because no one else had it, but like for a while, got being called the blues. I, I I walked in the shop last week and there was a cap and it said the blues on. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. We are. I love the fact for that the we toffees. reclaimed the toffees because and I want more of that. And it's not just because it's because the channel's name, but it's like that's what we are, the toffees. And for too long, like you just said, they we became a little bit like everything was the same. And yeah, the Chelsea thing and even having like similar kits to them. I feel like it was very corporate. We not as a club purposely we've done it, but I feel like we brought like the old back in. So we've brought. Everton yeah, back in. that's it. Yeah. So, you know, you've got ideas and you've seen old flags. Yeah. Let's remake them. Yeah. The one of the best ones, and to be honest, we didn't really do enough about it. Mm. The boys from the blue stuff. Yeah, yeah. The actual man who made the flag, and his brother, I think it was, or his dad, they come to the setup and held it up. Oh, that's brilliant. They've got there, and we've got a boss picture of them holding this banner and they were the ones yeah. who little things like that when you're bringing people course, together well the the reason i mean let's be honest like the reason just before we finish the reason a lot of this disappeared was because a load of people decided it was called cop -like behavior let's be that's what it was wasn't it? that's loads of people decided because i remember i remember going to match at the time loads of people decided banners and stuff and all this stuff and even sing, even like singing or marching to the game was cop eye behaviour. Well, so and I remember more than two words. To... Yeah, I remember someone once telling me, "Going, do you know what cop eye behaviour is? It's winning trophies." Well, and 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 like there is a generation. Can't disagree with. Yeah, that. there's a generation who go, "Who care? Who care? Who honestly cares what they're doing? We would do. Anyone go and watch the go and watch like the eighty four cup final? Just just switch on the telly and look at the eighty four cup final. Banners everywhere. Rotterdam banners everywhere. You know, going back to the sixties. Banners and flags good... and everything. We've yeah. we've been doing it me probably longer than they've been doing it. But again, what happened was they took it off us, claimed it, and then we go, we're not doing that anymore. So it's important, isn't it, that we do reclaim? I just think it's one of them. You've got to take take things back to how they used to be, especially before you leave yeah. there. Let's dress it up like it used to be dressed mm. up. Okay, it's probably a bit more now than it used to be, but why not? Yeah, like, absolutely. Why not? And, you know... I refuse to get into any debates as I've got older over <laughs> us and them and who reclaimed and I'm, yeah. I'm not bothered about yeah, it. All I care about is us and, yeah. and us being a better football club and us doing things better on the pitch yeah. and off the pitch. And Absolutely. If we can help off the pitch, yeah. help on the pitch. Now, you know, we know we've had um, a couple of players, you know, and Thelwell has come to surprise us and they come and help us set up one game. I think it was before the Forest game last season and we're just on the concourse of the Gladys Street and Coleman and Thelwell come down and mm -hmm. they were just like, you know, we can't thank you enough for what you're doing. Tarkowski, I think we got a, our award off him when Everton put us in the box and do you know what? We don't do it for awards. Mm -hmm. We don't do it to get a box at the end of the season. That's never the name. I'm, I'm not yeah. bothered. I couldn't care less about stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. It's really appreciated. And it's a lovely gesture. Mm. But 
I personally and I know the, the group personally, mm. we don't do it to get our accolades. I'm not bothered. We're doing it because we want better. Yeah. We want Goodison to go out, out with the biggest bang that it can. Why wouldn't you do yeah. that? Why wouldn't you make it look? Get behind the players, the current players. Listen, mm. at the end of the day, it's not our personal choice. You've got to put your personal opinions aside mm -hmm. of some things. You've got banners. We've got a banner that is currently being made um, with an old player on who's been spoken about recently. It's a, it's personal. It's not personal preference to what we want. At the end of the day, you've got to put your personal opinions mm -hmm. aside. You know, if you don't like a certain current player, tough. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You Let's get behind them. Let's support them. You know, we have these debates on a, on a regular basis, daily within mm -hmm. the group. Well, I don't think they deserve one. I'm like, but it's not about you. Yeah. And I'll say the same. It's not about you, and it's not. Mm. Let's back what we're what we're watching now as well as back in previous. So, mm. I think that is quite important to to you know put across, and people come to us. You're doing a banner for them, and we've got a list like that <laughs> we're doing. But uh, unfortunately. We'd love to do them all, but we need money yeah. to do them all. It's go. not it's not that simple. So I know I have half done about it's... donations, but we are we need them. Yeah. For us to function, still function as a group and still keep going and yeah. end like our era at Goodison in the most spectacular way. And then go into Bramley Moor in a new era and open it with an absolute bang. Absolutely. We need as many donations as we possibly can because this isn't cheap. So <laughs> it's not cheap at all. There you go. There you go. Listen to the lady. If you want to help, if you want to donate, if you want to just give a little bit of money, then then the donate. It's in uh, the description. You can go or you can go to the website, as Katie said, and help and uh, see Goodison off, the old lady, off the right way before we head to our new stadium where we'll all get dead fit walking up those stairs. So it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely <laughs> sad. You'll get fit and you'll be able to put flags up at the same time. So that sounds that sounds like a yeah, come and set a typo up at the sun of Friday. <laughs> that sounds like a minute, yeah. Go and help them as well. You get I mean listen, if you go and volunteer, you'll get to walk around Goodison where there's nobody else there. Forget about forget about sleeping overnight. Idiots. You get to, Put some flags out and you get to walk around good somewhere there's nobody else there. Imagine you know doing even, that. Even on the day is is good yeah. because people enjoy it. It's yeah. mad the reaction that we get. Don't get me wrong, you do get the odd moan. I'm not gonna lie like you do. But the rest of them embrace it, they allow you the room and stuff like that, and it is really good. So we do appreciate it because, yeah. you know, without that these things can't happen, but they're gonna keep happening regardless. Yeah. So there you go. Your opportunity to help create a better atmosphere at Goodison Park and as we move forward to the Everton Stadium. There you go. Big thanks to Katie coming in and uh, make sure make sure if you see them as well, say thank you for all the great work they've done. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>